Your first alert weather with meteorologist Ted Schmidt. For tranquil weather day happening right now. It's a little on the chilly side, but temperatures are actually climbing. And as we move along through the day, we may even briefly reach above the freezing mark. So we have that to look forward to today. But right now, the clouds are moving back in. We did have some sunshine late yesterday and uh, overnight we had clear skies. And in fact, a couple hours ago, I saw a shooting star in the, uh, over the parking lot. It was kind of cool on the way to work. What a great way to kick off the work week. Now, we actually do have some sunshine showing up near uh, Lake City, but you overall can see that it is getting a little cloudier outside. Just an outline of the moon. I can see that from the weather patio. Now it's uh, kind of an overcast picture here as we look outside from now Rochester with our Lewiston Auto Live camera. It's 26 Six degrees officially in the Med City. That's actually three degrees warmer than last hour. Temperatures are climbing even as clouds move in. This warm air is trying to work in its way in uh, ahead of a weak storm system. 27 right now in Mesa City and 24 in Cresco. Uh, 26. It does feel like it's 15. Kind of a brisk west and southwest breeze, 13 miles per hour. Kind of a, a little chilly breeze that will be with us throughout the day. Clouds taking over. We do eventually have the possibility of flurries uh, more than likely happening tonight and tomorrow morning, but so far a dry weather picture, just extra cloud kipper with maybe a few breaks of sunshine. We saw some of that uh, near Lake City right now, so they have a, a, a window of uh, opportunity to see a little sunshine at first, but otherwise a cloudier day, 24 to start the day on our way to the low 30s. Tranquil though uh, for today, flurries tonight and tomorrow. Snow chances return over the weekend, maybe a little bit Sunday. Early next week, there's a possibility of maybe some accumulation, but at this point, still several days away. We'll certainly be watching that in time. But today, a pretty benign weather day. A lot of clouds, kind of a chilly breeze to the west and then northwest. Daytime temperatures climbing to low 30s. A couple flurries move in for tonight. Just a couple of scattered sparse snow flurries of the overnight hours and tomorrow morning. Heading into the afternoon tomorrow, we begin to see some big breaks in the clouds. Afternoon sunshine temperatures tomorrow just shy of the freezing mark. And then heading into Thursday after a very cold morning, we'll have some quiet sunshine and temperatures in the 20s. Just a light uh, coating of snow today, a trace amount tonight into tomorrow. So nothing to shovel, just a few flurries. Anything measurable more than likely staying east of us in those snow flurries. Very bottom of the probability scale from tonight until late morning tomorrow when things do clear off. And we'll have some snow shower chances Sunday. Very small chance there. Then Monday to Tuesday next week, chance of snow coming back in the weather picture. Temperature wise above average, but not that far off the mark. 20s and low 30s over the next week. It does look like we'll have uh, some colder weather than that maybe by the end of next week. So something maybe colder than average in the long term. But 33 today, mostly cloudy skies. Winds turning to the northwest. 10 to 15 miles per hour. Flurries tonight, light west winds, a low of 24. Seven day forecast, small dose of snow perhaps Sunday, and a better chance maybe some accumulation Monday night, Tuesday of next week. So something we'll keep an eye on, so mm -hmm. way down the road, but we'll be monitoring that. And temperatures otherwise really not terribly cold for January standards. Yeah, we can handle this for January. Oh, yeah.